One North is a one-of-a-kind property in North Portland, a mile north of downtown. It all began with a question. What might be possible? One North is 110,000 square feet of creative office and ground floor retail space. The property is comprised of three buildings, the Radiator, and the East and West buildings. The development trio surrounds a 14,000 square foot public courtyard accessible to tenants and the community. Radiator is a 36,000 square foot office building developed by Kaiser Group Incorporated. For a building to be built is just an amazing feat, I think, because all these cats have to be in the same room at the same moment in time. The East and West buildings were developed by Owen and Nels Gabbert of Karuna 2 Properties. The first building was challenging. The second building is a challenging building. It has its own unique attributes, but there's so many things that were similar that we were able to apply lessons learned from the first building. The development is a unique situation in which these two different entity developers came together on one project. Willingness and eagerness to collaborate on this job is unlike any I've experienced in my entire career. There's a strong demand for creative office in the city, but like many growing cities, there aren't many loft buildings left, and the market was completely untested outside of downtown. A small project like One North could fill that niche without overwhelming the market. 95% of the people who are going to work in these three buildings live within 20 blocks of this location. They could walk to work, they could be in community schools, they could access uh, neighborhood amenities. Unique uh, is harder and, and greener is harder and greener and unique and uh, sustainable is really hard but uh, and then it all needs to make money. But if everyone commits to it and th puts their heads together, you can do it. We all collectively took an eco-summit kind of field trip up to the Bullet Center out of Seattle. The Bullet Center was an inspiration, but the team felt it was not quite replicable. So they concentrated on what could be achieved, like the timber framing, an adaptable and versatile building material that keeps carbon out of the atmosphere, creating an airtight air barrier. Like the Bullet Center, the goal was a very tight building envelope that minimizes energy loss. Wood was a big deal, um, that it's renewable nature. The development team behind the East and West buildings at One North actually went out and met with the foresters and loggers who would be providing the siding for the project. So we were very much involved in, in the procurement of the cedar. I think we all kind of stumbled into timber framing, and I think that is going to change the United States. Other sustainable features include solar panels on the roof and insulation. The weather barrier was a, a big piece of the, the thermal performance on this building. It was an airtight building, and um, we actually went through a series of mock-ups to come up with an air barrier that was going to perform the best on this particular project. The 14,000 square foot courtyard was paid for in part with a more than $400,000 grant from Metro, Oregon's regional government, to create neighborhood open space in areas with few parks and to welcome a neighborhood that feels threatened by gentrification. It also is a great amenity for tenants and serves as a secondary space for moving vehicles like construction and trash trucks through the site. We thought it was really important that, that a neighborhood youth, people who have been here, along with everyone else, but, but particularly people who've been here a long time felt comfortable so that they felt like, hey, this is a space for us. I think the biggest design challenge was, uh, uh, for the two buildings was around the apertures. We used a company out of Minneapolis that pretty much focuses on curved apertures. They helped us with the design and the fabrication, and we shipped that product to this site and basically hung those pieces on the site. Since One North is comprised of three buildings, the team was able to apply lessons learned on site as construction continued. On the, the first building, um, gosh, we were involved for a year before construction started, and that almost wasn't early enough with the complexity of some of the elements in the project. Um, on the West building, we were, had been involved for two years before we started construction. We modified steel connections. We allowed ourselves more tolerance where it was structurally allowed. We made a much larger effort to keep the beams clean through construction and to take measures to keep them from getting dirty. An effort that enabled the second building of the East-West buildings to be built for 25% less of what they spent on the first building. I think the impact has been profound in the sense nobody expected a building or a set of buildings like this 
to come up out of the ground in this neighborhood. We didn't want to be a laboratory and we didn't want to be business as usual. We didn't want to be so far out that it was something that other developers looked at and said, well, that's an interesting experiment, but I couldn't do that. Uh, and we didn't want to just be a code building. The developers hope the project, over time, will serve as an example to other developers. We have not done it the easiest project, uh, and that happened intentionally.